we want to find the exact trig function values using the unit circle. The great thing about the unit circle is that if we sketch the angle in the standard position, the point where the terminal side intersects the unit circle gives us both the cosine function value and the sine function value, where x equals cosine theta and y equals sine theta. So to find the value of sine three pi over four, we'll sketch three pi over four radians in standard position and then determine where the terminal side intersects the unit circle. So the initial side of the angle is along the positive x-axis and now we rotate three pi over four radians counterclockwise. So we rotate from here to here. So here's the terminal side of three pi over four radians. And here's the point where the terminal side intersects the unit circle. The x-coordinate is equal to negative square root two divided by two, and the y-coordinate is equal to square root two divided by two. Because we're looking for the sine function value, we want the y-coordinate, so this is equal to positive square root two divided by two. So this is pretty straightforward because notice how three pi over four radians was labeled on the unit circle. But I also want to show you a method for finding this point on the unit circle if this angle was not labeled on the unit circle. As long as you remember that pi radians is one rotation counterclockwise from the positive x-axis, or from here, to here, then since our angle is a multiple of pi over four radians, if we divide this into four equal pieces, we can count by pi over four radians to determine the terminal side of this angle. So if we start here and stop here and divide this into four equal parts, we would first divide it in half here and then divide each half in half again. So in the first quadrant, we would divide it here. In the second quadrant, we would divide it here. And now we have increments of pi over four radians we can count by pi over four radians. Here's one pi over four radians, two pi over four radians, and then finally three pi over four radians. This would be another way to find where the terminal side intersects the unit circle. And this is very helpful when the given angle is not labeled on the unit circle, like our second example. Here we want to find cosine negative 11 pi over four. Well, we're not going to find this angle labeled on the unit circle, so using this technique, will be helpful. Let's give it a try. So our goal here is to find where the terminal side of negative 11 pi over four radians intersects the unit circle. So we'll start here again, but because the angle is negative, we now want to rotate clockwise 11 pi over four radians. So again, as long as you remember that if we rotate clockwise half a rotation, This would be negative pi radians. And because again, our angle is a multiple of pi over four radians, we want to divide this into four equal parts. So we're going to start here, stop here, and divide this into four equal parts. So we'll divide it in half, and then in half again. This would take us over to negative four pi over four. So let's go ahead and divide the other half of the unit circle into four equal parts. So we'll divide this in half and then in half again. So now starting at the initial side, we'll count off negative 11 pi over four radians counting clockwise. Negative one pi over four, negative two pi over four, negative three pi over four, negative four pi over four, negative five pi over four, negative six pi over four, negative seven pi over four, negative eight pi over four, negative nine pi over four, negative 10 pi over four, and finally, negative 11 pi over four. So this would be the terminal side of our angle. Notice how this is also coterminal with five pi over four radians. And to get here, we had one complete rotation clockwise, and then we rotated to here. So the terminal side intersects the unit circle at this point here where both the x-coordinate and the y-coordinate are negative square root two divided by two. Because we're looking for the cosine function value, we want the x-coordinate. So this function value is negative square root two divided by two. Now I should mention we could have used an angle that's coterminal with negative 11 pi over four radians to determine this function value, meaning we could have added multiples of two pi radians to this angle 
to find this same function value. So for example, if we used negative 11 pi over 4 plus 2 pi, which I'll put 2 pi over 1, this angle would also give us the same cosine function value. So if we found a common denominator here, it would be 4. So we would have a denominator of 4, and then negative 11 pi plus 8 pi would be negative 3 pi over 4 radians, which again would have the same terminal side. Or if we wanted to, we could have added another 2 pi radians and then found a positive angle that would have the same cosine function value. So we can use coterminal angles to find these function values if we want to. Okay, I hope you found this helpful.